Part 5. Cold Wave Colton barreled down the side of the rugged rocky steep onto a jagged stone. He was almost to his feet when Alea and Chavez plowed right into him. He fought through the pain and helped them up. Thanks, boss, Chavez said. Colton nodded. Where are the others? They were right behind us, Alea said. Do you think it got them? I hope not, he said, tapping on his face mask. Only his, Alea, and Chavez's vitals were green. Everyone else's had disappeared from the screen. Their vitals aren't showing anymore. It might be we're out of range. Regardless, keep your guns ready. Colton took the lead. The light from his face mask lit the way through the winding tunnels. Everything happened so fast. One moment they were landing, the next they fell through. Now some creature had killed the pilot and chased them even deeper into the rock. Colton thought about Maria and her team, and if they had made it this far into the rock. Had she been killed by a creature like that? Alea's hand on his shoulder pulled him out of his thoughts. She pointed to the ceiling, and he had just noticed that he had led them into a massive dome-shaped cavern. The temperature was much lower than where they started as the cold air chilled their breasts and layers of frost covered the walls. Look at this place, Alea said. She pulled out a small device to take samples. There's condensation in here. That means there is water. Glowing orange minerals embedded in the rock walls provided the cavern with a light glow. Some of the walls were covered with writings and symbols, layered in multiple colors, displaying strange images. Colton noticed something bizarre about the images. Come look at this, he said. He pointed to a series of black images that went from an S-like shape to a straight line to a circle, then to a figure resembling a man. Could it be that thing that attacked us? He said, going from a liquid to solid rock, then... To a man? Alea said. Colton nodded. Then Chavez's vitals went from green to orange. Guys, she whispered, and when Colton and Alea turned around, a giant hand covered her head and neck. She looked frozen. A large, pale, white creature snapped her neck and threw her body across the cavern. It roared, attacking Colton and Alea. They fired at it, but the bullets bounced off the creature as if they were hitting a concrete wall. What do we do? Alea said as she ran for an exit. The creature caught up to her, sending her crashing into the wall with a hard slap. The beast turned to Colton, who still fired shots at it. The creature rushed him. Colton ducked, rolling under the creature's massive legs to get behind it. He made it to Chavez's body and grabbed her shotgun. The beast grabbed Colton by the leg and flung him across the room. It stalked and loomed over Colton. He shivered as the creature got closer to him. It snarled at him. It was close enough for Colton to see that its face was mushy. Still gripping the shotgun, Colton fought through the numbing pain overtaking his limbs and fired. The creature let out a horrid screech as green goo and meat chunks splattered in all directions. It stumbled backward, fallen to a knee. Colton fired more rounds into its face and gun sounds echoed throughout the cave. Colton! Alea called, snapping him out of his kill rage. Are you okay? He said, reaching out a hand to help her stand. I think so, she said. Whatever that thing is, it killed Chavez. We need to get out of here before we run into more of these things. 